Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to look at the MIDI arpeggiator that's built into Cubase. It's a really handy tool you can come up with. If you've written four basic chords, which we're going to do using the chord pads, you can create something quite unique over the top, um, or certainly something not particularly unique at the start, but by converting that arpeggiated, um, the, the MIDI arpeggio, to um, another MIDI track and actually um, rendering it to MIDI, you can come up with a, um, all kinds of things in the piano roll. It gives you much more freedom to change velocities, um, expression, add extra notes in the piano roll. And I'll show you what I mean. So I've set um, my locators here from the start of bar one to the end of bar four. So we're going to have a four chord sequence and I'm going to create a MIDI instrument. So I'm going to use my right hand side zone. You can also right click in this area here or click the add button. I'm going to go to Halion Sonic and I'm literally going to drag it into my project. This has created me a blank Halion. I'm going to go to piano and it's on Mellow Grand so I'll just click on Mellow Grand. So you can click any instrument you want to create these chords but a piano is sort of standard to start with. Okay, so now I don't need this right zone anymore. I'm going to go to the lower zone and I'm going to go to chord pads. Now if you find you go to the lower zone and it looks something like this or this, you're on the wrong little menu here. You just scroll along until you get to chord pads. I'm in F major here. If you find you play on these chords, you're hitting these chords and they're not triggering, remember we've got to have the instrument we've just created, the instrument track highlighted. So I'm going to show you how to change these really quickly from F major. If we go to the preset button and go load chords from presets, if I went say D instead, can you see now my my keys change to D major. All I'm going to do is choose four random chords, left click on them and drag them into the track that we're using this piano track here. So I've just left clicked and literally just dragged them up. Okay, now I don't need this lower zone anymore, so I'll get rid of that. Let's have a look how this sounds. So we've got four basic chords. Now, on our MIDI insert, can you see I've got it down as the drop down here? So along the left menu here, click on MIDI inserts. In our first box here, first drop down, we're going to go to Apache SX. And there's our sort of arpeggiated um, instrument here. So now, that sounds quite, that's the default. It's because I'm at 120 BPM. It's quite, um, it's shifting along a bit, but let's just choose a different arpeggiated line that Cubase would create for us. We can actually go through all these and create our own, but let's see what they've come up with. So in this area here, if I click, left click, I can go to any of these sequences. So say I chose pop sequence two. I'm gonna just. Now, I think that changed. It sounds very similar to the preset. I'll check that in a second. What I'm going to do, because that's sort of so rapid, I'm going to change my step size and the note lengths to eighth notes now. So literally by clicking on these, I can choose eighth. So the length also should, should sustain through a bit. OK, that's fine. And again, if you go to pop sequence, sorry, not pop sequence, but this top menu, you can choose any of these. Some work better with chords than others. Some work better with sort of single lines, I've noticed. You've got so many different controls here as well. It's worth um, having a have a mess around with these. Also on direction, you can change if you wanted to. Choose different sections if you wanted. OK. Say we've gone, we're going to go with that as our arpeggiated line. That's the one we've chosen. Um, I think I preferred it before, so I'm messing around with it. But that's the one we're going to choose. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this information that we create to another MIDI line, so another MIDI um, VST instrument. For now, I'm going to take the one we've just created. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to click, go to Duplicate Tracks. 
and what this does is makes a complete duplicate of above. I'm then just going to left click over all of this MIDI information, these chords, I'm going to delete that. So now we've got a, just a blank um, BST instrument to work with. What I am going to do as well is just take the arpeggiator off this one, this channel, because I did that. I could have gone through and created another MIDI line, but just to save time now, I've just made another MIDI, inst um, another VST instrument, sorry. Okay, what we're going to do is highlight our top information here, so the information we want to render down, so this arpeggiated line now. That's fine as its own if you wanted to keep it that way, but under MIDI, we can go to Merge MIDI in Loop. So I'll just click on that, and as default, it has Include Inserts, and that's what we want, because on this MIDI, on this VST Instrument 1, we've got the um, arpeggiator in there. So I'm just going to click OK. It's created it for me directly over the top of the last one, but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to literally just left click on it and drag it down. Another thing I could do just to make it easier to see the arpeggiated line is just change the color using the palette there. So now we've got an exact copy because we've got the arpeggiated line here without the arpeggiator on because I've switched it on but then the chords above have still got this arpeggiator on. So maybe if I turn that one off as well, we've got the chords, just playing the simple chords above with the arpeggiator in there. And then we could even go to this um, the left area here on this second information, perhaps bring this down in volume. Think about adding a bit of panning, maybe add effects to that. Or we can double click on it, go into the piano roll, using remember G and H to maximize and minimize. We could even look at changing velocities, anything at all in adding extra information, using just drawing in using the piano roll, as you would normally use the piano roll. So we've got our velocities, we've got um, sustain, anything you want to add in there. All of a sudden, you can create, you go from that basic arpeggiated line, just by adding in velocity changes, you know the hits you're not hitting it at the same velocity each time that already adds a bit of um oh went a bit too far with that one um a bit of interest and um, remember with snap if i took snap off i don't i can also move these slightly oh don't want to go there so it's not quite so everything isn't snapping to the exactly on the beat so you want you can give it more of a groove as well if you wanted to if you see what I mean with that by just moving it so once you get into the piano roll you can obviously do anything in the piano roll that you normally would to sort of spice things up so so from a basic four chord sequence using chord pads we've created a um, quite an interesting little right hand side um, right hand on the piano say or we could make this into another instrument. So by clicking on the edit instrument, I could choose whatever I choose here. It's not going to go well, is it? I don't <laughs> Let's go strings. Strings and um, pizzicato. So. And once you get into using the core pads alongside with the arpeggiator, so Apache, you can come up with all kinds of little layers. If you imagine if you're doing EDM or something, you wanted just a, an arpeggiated layer in, say, the second verse that wasn't there in the first verse, it's a great way of doing it. Really cool. So, good luck with the arpeggiator.